everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one. I'm excited. So we are going to be doing a full face of 10 products under $10. So I have highlighted 10 products that I love, love, love that are affordable. Everything's under $10. And I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look using all of those products. So if that sounds good, why don't we go ahead and get started. I am so excited to have you guys here for today's video. I love doing drugstore videos. I love doing affordable products videos. And I know you guys really enjoy watching them on my channel, which is why I continue to do them for you. So like I said, today's video is going to be 10 products under $10, a full face of products. Today's video is also an exciting one because it is in partnership with Moda Brushes. You guys know how much I love them. I thought what a better video to do a sponsorship with them than talking more about affordable products. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys their Glitter Bomb brush sets. I love Moda brushes. I have been talking about them for years. I can remember the first time I used them. I actually found them at a Gen Beauty and ever since then I have just been hooked on their brushes. They are affordable. They are such good quality. They run sales all the time which is also super nice. So this is the set that I'm going to be using in today's video. It's called the Glitter Bomb set. Here's what it does look like in the packaging right here. So inside of here you do get five different brushes along with a brush bag as well. Here is what the brush bag looks like. It's a really cute, just like silver holographic brush bag and it does fit all of the brushes inside of there. So like I said, there are five different brushes. So you get two different complexion brushes as well as three different eye brushes a part of the set. I will have this link down below for you along with my coupon code, which is just Makeup Molly. That can save you an additional percentage off of Moda brushes. So like I said, this is the brush set here. So we do have this one here, which is a powder brush. Very, very soft. I just love their brushes. The handles are always super cute and they always have just like a very girly vibe to them which I really appreciate so we have the powder brush we also have this blush brush right here which I have used a lot for highlight I've also used this as an under eye setting brush too but it is labeled as a blush brush I appreciate it too because they all have the labels on here so if you are new to makeup or you're not really sure what to use what brushes for they all do have labels on them so we also have this one here which is an angled brush I use that one for like winged liner or I've been really into just like smoking out my eyeshadow which is what I'm going to be doing today and then we also have two different crease brushes a part of this as well so I'm going to be using these in the video like I said I'll have them linked down below so let's get started with the 10 products and the full face of the affordable makeup so starting off this look we are going to go in with a primer this is one that I've been loving from Catrice very affordable this is their fresh it up moisturizing with bamboo water primer and it also says aqua fresh hydrating primer there's quite a few different names on this one but it is a really good hydrating primer if you have dry skin or if you just like a good hydrating primer it pairs really well with all of my foundations I've tried it with I really really like it and I like it especially when my skin is feeling dry for really good hydration Catrice can be found at Ulta Beauty for foundation, we're going in with an oldie but a goodie. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the Dewy and Smooth. I really love the matte and poreless as well, but when I am feeling a little bit more dry, I like the Dewy and Smooth. I am the shade 120. This one's a little bit dark for me, but I prefer my foundations to be a little bit darker. That way I can kind of run them down my neck and match them a little bit more towards my body. Um, my face is a lot more fair. I don't know if you can really tell, but I feel like my face is quite a bit fairer than my body, so I always try and kind of even them out. But anyways, it's such a good foundation. I love this one for years and you can find it at your local drugstore so I just dump it out normally just on my hand Ooh, that's a little bit too much and I am going to be using the Colourpop sponge I really like their sponges that they came out with um, every single one that I've tried I've really really enjoyed so this is just a really nice medium coverage foundation it lasts really good on me and they do have a decent shade range in this as well but I just feel like the coverage is so good the luminosity that it gives my skin is always really nice such a good foundation and like I said I've been using this one for years now for concealer another one of my favorites we're gonna go in with the flower beauty light illusion concealer I don't feel like I hear many people talking about this one but it is really really affordable you can find flower beauty at Walmart and this one just has such good coverage but it's also very very luminous like it doesn't look heavy at all on my under eyes I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose to highlight as well but I really really like this one and I really like the fact that it is a affordable concealer but I love the wand on it. You guys, it has the best wand. I feel like it gets the right amount of product every single time and you can use 
um, just one swipe for each eye, which is nice, but I do really, really like the coverage on this one. I would say it's more of like a medium coverage, but it's definitely buildable. So it just depends on what kind of look I'm going for. If I go in with like one swipe of it or if I add a little bit more, but every time I use this, I just feel like it gives such a radiance to the under eyes. It doesn't look heavy and it doesn't crease on me as well, which is really nice. I'm also going to add a little bit extra onto these breakouts that we have going on just to give a little bit of extra coverage here. My skin has been hating me lately, so I'm just going to apply, like I said, just a little bit more right there and blend out my nose right here as well. All right, and moving on to a powder, we're gonna be using the Wet n Wild Press Powder. This one has new packaging now. This is like an older version of it, but I love this powder. I've been using it again for years, such a favorite of mine. We're gonna go in with the Glitter Balm. This one here is the blush brush, but like I said, I like using this one for setting my under eye. Any brush you have, you can always figure out what you wanna use it for. There's no one way you can use a brush. You can always mix, you know, if you wanna use an eye brush for your lips, if you want to use a complexion brush for your eyes like there is really no certain way you can use just one brush so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and set my entire face with this I'm not going too crazy but I am just gonna do a light dusting that way when we go to use our bronzer it just blends really nicely on the skin I'm still just using that blush brush here for that Okay, now we are moving on to brows, and I have a new brow product. I really haven't heard anyone talk about this, but I've been loving it. It's from Rimmel London, and it's called their Brow Pro Micro. It's a 24-hour precision brow pencil. Actually, it's called a pen, so here's what it looks like. It kind of looks like one of those like marker brow pencils, and this one is so good, you guys. It's very pigmented, and it lasts really long on the brows. I was really intimidated when I started using the markers. Like, I wasn't sure how to use them and you know they just seem a little bit more intimidating but once you get the hang of it and you understand like what kind of pressure to use with them they're so so easy and they also really really define the brow and kind of give you those brow like strokes a little bit more than i can get with a pencil all right so now that we've got our brows on as you can see it just gives a really like defined simple brow really easy i'm gonna go in with our eyeshadow palette so this is a bite size palette from elf i have been obsessed with these they're only three dollars they have a ton of different colors really really loving on these the one that i have here is the rose water one this one is so so pretty i've used this one so much to create a bunch of really really nice looks so they have four different shadows in them but they are really pigmented really nice in the eyes so i'm going to use this to go in with our eye look i am going to go in with the same concealer that we use on our under eyes and just use this one as an eyeshadow base if you guys don't know you can use concealer as your eyeshadow base, it just works really well. I feel like for me, it works just as well as an eye primer. So I normally just put it on and then I just blend it out with my sponge just to cancel out any redness that I have and to act as a nice base for the shadows that we go in with. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the crease brush out of the Glitter Bomb set. And I'm first gonna go into the lightest shade in the e.l.f. palette, which is this one right here, this matte shade. I'm gonna use that one to work it into the crease. So we're just gonna get a little bit of that on our brush and just begin to blend that onto our lid. So I'm just kind of working in windshield wiper motion. So just kind of back and forth, back and forth just to build that into our crease. I'll go ahead and pick up a little bit more and just begin to build it up just a tiny bit. So next in the palette, we're gonna go in with the shader brush from the collection. I'm gonna go into this really gorgeous pink shade right here, the champagne shade, and I'm going to go ahead and pick this up on this brush. The shader brush is really great for packing on shadows because it is so dense, but it yet has a little bit of fluff to it. It's really gonna pick up your pigments really nicely. So I'm not even gonna wet my brush. I'm just gonna go directly just in with this brush. And can you guys see how pigmented that is? Really, really great for packing on foiled shadows. So now I'm gonna go into the angled brush right here and we're gonna create like a soft wing with the shadow. So I'm gonna go into this darker shade right here in the palette and we're just gonna pick that up here and start to actually use this to create a wing. So I'm gonna actually just stamp it right here on the outer edge and kind of just flick it out. And then I'm gonna go in and begin to create our wing. I've been doing this a lot lately just with like our shadows. I've been really loving doing like a smoked wing just because I feel like it gives us more of a softer look than if I were to do like a full wing. Um, I just think it looks really pretty, especially on my eyes because I do have a little bit of hooded eyes. So I normally go just about like right here. 
I don't go all the way to the inner corner because I do have such hooded eyes. I feel like that kind of closes my eyes. So I just kind of stop right there. So now I'm using the same angled brush here on my lower lash line and I'm just bringing that same shade across my lower lashes. So now moving on to mascara, another one of my favorites. This is from Rimmel London and this is the Lashly Yours Mascara. This mascara is so black. I have mine in extreme black and it really does the best job of separating your lashes and also just making them look so like spiky and long. I've loved this one for so long now. I also really like the brush on it. I feel like it's the perfect brush. It has like those little spikes in it to where you can get each individual lash and really, really coat them. So I'm gonna go in pretty heavy handed with this and give us like a nice dramatic thick lash. So now that we've got our lashes all done, you can see how just like long and dramatic it makes our lash look. So we're gonna go back to our face and we're gonna be using the powder brush from the set and I'm gonna be going in with the Milani bronzer. Love this one. So this one I have here is Sunlight and this is called their Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. They have quite a few different colors in this one. It's a very natural looking bronzer. I feel like no matter how much of what uh, this one I use, it always just comes out looking so natural, so just like sun-kissed, like it says on the name. So I'm just using the powder brush, like I said, and we're just going to go ahead and just bronze up my face here a bit. So I'm gonna apply it to my forehead as well, and I'm gonna use the shade to contour my nose too. So for the nose contour, I'm kind of just pinching my brush here and just applying it to my nose, just kind of down the side here. So I'm gonna go back into the Wet n Wild powder and I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit here on the sides. I just feel like it makes it look a little bit more polished. So I'm just going in with that powder and just lightly dusting it here on the bottom, kind of the same way you would bake with like a translucent powder. You can do that with pressed powder as well. So kind of just carving it out, just to look, make it look a little bit more, you know, chiseled here. So now for our glow, we are going into the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette. You guys, this is so, so good. So it has in here four different highlights. Been loving this one. I'm gonna go in with the golden and the pinky shade here, and I'm gonna use the blush brush to actually use for my highlight. So like I said, you can use whatever kind of brush you want for whatever you wanna use it for. But this one is really nice at just picking up the color for the highlight, but look at how gorgeous that highlight is. I've been loving, loving, loving this palette right here. All four of the colors work really well on me. And I just think they add an extra sparkle to any look. Always love finding good affordable highlights and I feel like Wet n Wild does it so good with the highlights. I'm gonna take the shader brush and I'm gonna use just a little bit of this actually for my inner corner, just to give a little bit of pop right there. I'm using this like iridescent shade, the first one here. It has a little bit of a punch to it. I'm using this one just to highlight my inner corner here. So now for lip, I've been really enjoying this lip gloss. It's from Wet n Wild again, and this is from the Bretman Rock Collection. I do have a full review on this one, but I'm gonna use this as my lip gloss. This one here is called um, Freaky. It is so, so good. I'm actually gonna cheat and use a lip liner. I know I said 10 products. Technically, I'm using 11 but um, I need a lip liner with this one. It looks pretty on its own, but it looks so much better with a lip liner. So I am gonna use this one. It's affordable from NYX. This one is in Natural, one of my favorites. I'm gonna use this to line the lips first. Okay, and now going in with our gloss, I'm just gonna apply this directly over top of the lip liner. It's such a pretty gloss. It has a really nice smell to it, and I really like the applicator as well. It has a really nice bend to it. Now this is a gloss, so it's not gonna last all day, but I feel like it wears down really nicely on the lips. Um, when I have used it, I don't feel like it's too thick or too goopy or anything like that either. It just looks really nice over top of like a nude. Um, lip liner. I just think it's perfect. Okay, and after the lip gloss, this is our final look of 10 products under $10. What do you guys think of the products I mentioned? Are any of these your favorites? Have you tried any of them? Let me know down in the comment section. Also, let me know some of your favorites that are under $10 that you have, that you love. Thank you so much to Moda Brushes for working with me on this video. I always get excited when I get to collaborate with them. I will have the Glitter Bomb set linked down below along with their website and my code if you want to save some money with them. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.